we go, I want to go ahead and share my screen so that you guys can see what I'm doing today. Uh, I want to show you guys uh, the morning. Uh, uh, so, so today's my favorite day of the month with real estate because uh, it's the first of the month. And that means the uh, closed home sale numbers have come out for last month. So uh, I want to look at them this morning for Seattle, uh, southward, to, uh, basically the South Sound area. Uh, to show you guys more proof of what I've been seeing for the last couple of months of an upward trend in the entire sound area. And not only that, but recently with some recent transactions, we're seeing a much higher buyer demand in February than we anticipated. February and January both, actually. Excuse me. So uh, as this opens here, uh, I want to show you guys. This is uh, sales statistics. We're going to look at the median sales prices for some areas uh, around here. And uh, we can see this is the entire MLS. But first, before we get to that, I want to show you something. So uh, this is something I talk about a lot. Uh, if you look at this single graph with a single line, this line represents all the sales, all the sales, uh, median sales prices throughout the entire MLS uh, for the last 10 years. And these are actual sales numbers that are medians for each month. And if you look at this, you'll see, you might start to see a pattern, but some of you might not. So I'm gonna adjust this so that they kind of average together a little bit and you definitely start to see a pattern if I do that. You see, uh, in the summertime, uh, we see an increase in sales prices and a slight decrease in sales prices in the winter. Another increase in the summer, a slight decrease in the winter. And that pattern repeats over and over and over and over again. And even in 2020, when the, the you know the pandemic hit us, which was very unusual, um, nothing like that in my lifetime has ever happened. Even then, that knocked a dent in it for sure. But even then, the pattern was still uh, the prevailing uh, movement of the market. So it, it, it adjusted back into that. And now we've recently had some interest rate adjustments and we've seen the pattern adjust again, but that pattern is still there. Uh, so I want you to be aware that the pattern is there. So let's look a little closer. This is the entire MLS now. Now let's take it in and talk about what I came here to talk about, which was King County, King County and South, King and Pierce County, essentially, but King and Thurston. Also, we see the same pattern in King County. 10 years, look at that. 10 years, the same patterns there. Let's look at the actual numbers. You can still see the pattern with no average numbers, just the actual sales numbers there, right? So we get closer, we can start to see what's happening. Here's the low of the winter. Here's the low of the winter. This winter's low, this winter's low. And right now we're in this winter's low. So we just experienced February, the average for the for all of King County, the median sale price was seven hundred and eighteen thousand dollars. That's down just a little bit from what it was in January, um, and in December it was seven twenty. So it's basically essentially going sideways. Uh, percentage wise, it's essentially going sideways right now. We're experiencing the winter low, and we uh, are also seeing a higher buyer demand show up. So let's look a little closer. Let's look at some actual uh, places within King County, Seattle for sure, right? And then uh, Bellevue. All right. We see the pattern uh, still in these bottom two for sure, right? And we also see the pattern in Bellevue a little more jagged but we still see it all right and these are the interest rates hitting us right here Bellevue gets hit harder a little bit harder initially on that we got some high value stuff up in there right uh, anyway here we are we're coming back down we're at the bottom of the pattern and we should start seeing things uh bounce up just a little bit here soon right then let's no let's do new cash or maybe not maybe we'll do uh what the heck am I doing Here we are. Uh, there we are. Look at that. Okay, that's a little nutty due to right there. That's probably like two houses sold or something. Uh, 
they were at 465 back then in February of last year. That's probably uh, an anomaly, which happens from time to time, especially in smaller areas. But the general gist is this stuff is all experiencing the same pattern. And uh, everything seems to be where it should be for the pattern. Let's look a little closer. Okay, Seattle, monthly. We're not rolling. We're not averaging stuff in there. But let's look at the averages. With the averages rolled in there a little bit, there's our pattern, right? So we're right now experiencing our normal low point. We should see these prices come up a little bit for the summer. Yeah, we're going to have some interest rates come up a tad bit more, but we've uh, received most of the damage as far as that goes. So I would expect the uh, market to factor that in as it continues on his seasonal pattern there. Okay, so that's uh, Seattle, Bellevue, King County. I could break Seattle up into pieces and look at West Seattle, North Seattle, Southeast Seattle, but I'm not going to get into all that. But let's look at real quick a uh, couple other places in King County real quick. How about Maple Valley? How about uh, other way? And maybe Auburn. Okay, here we go. It's all the same patterns, right? You saw those patterns with our average numbers. Boom, boom, boom. All the same patterns. They're a seasonal pattern. So uh, going back to the actual sales numbers here, where we're at, Auburn, it's just come up nicely from uh, January. Uh, they're low uh, now. They're up there at uh, 550 or so. Uh, probably heading, heading upward from there. Gently out, more gently, I would imagine, than that dramatic change over one month. Uh, we see Federal Way uh, sees the low of 475 coming up to about 515 right now. We should see that continue. Can't, same thing, a uh, seasonal low of uh, what is that just under 550 uh, up there at uh, 600 now. And then Maple Valley, uh, feeling some things here, it appears. It looks like uh, it had a weird October. That is weird. So uh, in October, Maple Valley had a weird October. Everywhere else, you'll see that in a minute as I go through more things. Everywhere else had a really strong October, but it appears Maple Valley had the opposite. That's the first one I seen like that. But anyway, uh, Maple Valley's coming down in its seasonal low, and I expect we'll uh, bounce northward here again next month. So that's where we are with those uh, heading further south. Let's talk about, since we're here, Lake Taps. And uh, in fact, yeah, we'll do Lake Taps, we'll do Bonnie Lake. We're gonna do uh, Buckley and uh, area because that's going to include uh, South Prairie and all the other stuff. Uh, there's a lot of stuff outside of the city of Buckley. It's Buckley, you know what I mean? Uh, so uh, what else should we include with that? How about if you go to Ording or uh, how about Ording or Sumner? Sumner's pretty strong, but let's, uh, Sumner's having a weird, let's look at Sumner. Sumner is, uh, had a strong recent, Showing. Ten years. The four areas we're looking at. Lake Taps, Bonnie Lake, Buckley, and Sumner. B Buckley, South Prairie, and Sumner. Check it out. All of them on an upward trend. No doubt about it. Let's average them together. See if we see those patterns. Seasonal patterns? Are they there? Uh, yeah. I see some patterns, but they're not super smooth, are they? Let's look with some more averaging. See if we can see them a little better. Computer's telling us where the average is. So I see sort of a seasonal pattern developing. It's kind of there. It's just kind of subtle, isn't it? Definitely there for Lake Taps. Uh, definitely there for summer, it looks like. 
Ah, a little weird looking for Bonnie Lake. Okay, so let's look closer. I'm going to roll this out a little further. I have to smooth things out. Let's look at actual numbers. Bam. Okay, looking closer five years in on these three. Um, we are in good shape in all four of these places. Coming in on three. We are an upward trend on all four. All four of them. Two of them are ahead of where they were this time last year by quite a bit. And the other two are down just slightly where they were last year. But that's going to be almost irrelevant because this time last year, it was before any interest rate hikes hit. This time last year, we didn't have gigantic. I mean, it was, what were the rates? It was like just above three or four, but, you know, not even four. And uh, since then, they've jacked them up quite a bit. Uh, so even with that, the prices in only two of these places are slightly below what they were a year ago. They're not going to go up much more. We've taken the damage we're going to take and the seasonal cycle will continue. So I expect all four of these will continue upwards. Uh, we see summer had a seasonal low of uh, 462,000 and a half, and it's come up there, uh, up five, five sideways, and then now it's at 505. Is that 505? That's 565. Holy crab apples. That came up quite a bit. It came up 65,000, but that could have been just an anomaly of some uh, recent sales. Uh, we got Buckley eventually coming sideways and starting to come up out of the seasonal cycle. We got Bonnie Lake uh, up and down, but coming up out of the seasonal cycle uh, with a seasonal low of 560. And right now we're up at 589, just under 590. And then we got Lake Taps. Lake Taps has got some big fancy homes on the lake, but it's also got some starter homes up, up in there uh, in those neighborhoods. So uh, a wide range of numbers, but averaging out with the median sale prices, uh, Lake Taps is starting to bounce out of, out of its seasonal cycle with a seasonal low of 747 and a half uh, thousand. And right now we're up at uh, just over 785. So that's pretty amazing. Everything's on an upward trend. The prices are still going up, despite what the media uh, has been saying. And as if for you, we've had a delivery and my dogs are freaking out. Candy, stop. Please stop. Please stop. Okay. It's all good. Let me finish this up with one more place. And uh, here is around JBLM. We're going to look at Lakewood. Uh, in fact, you know what? Now, we're going to look at Lakewood West, which is 98498. We're going to look at Silicon. area. We're going to look at DuPont because people live in DuPont and we're going to look at Lacey because these are common areas or popular areas around JBLM. Okay. Oh, is that only one Lacey or is that all of uh, Yeah. Probably. Okay. So here we are. Same stuff. Let's look back 10 years. What are we doing? What's happening with the actual numbers? Definitely looking like we're on an upward trend. Still, it comes acting crazy. Oh, we had a month of uh, we're only four homes sold or three homes sold, and they were all over a million dollars. So that's why the spike uh, that happens, especially in a place like Silicon. So we're getting closer and zooming in. We see our seasonal bounces going on, but looking looking closer, we see that uh, Lakewood West seasonal low of uh, three ninety. Got some condos back up in there in Oakbrook selling. Uh, bring this stuff, uh, the average down a little bit, but it's, the trend is still upwards, and now we've gone upwards to uh, 525, 524. Uh, starting to come out of the seasonal bounce, we got Lacey is uh, sideways and down just a little bit, but uh, gonna come up, coming up out of the seasonal bounce, we got uh, DuPont dipped probably at its seasonal low right now for. Uh, 448, 447 and a half. And then we got Stilicum bounce back up to 645 from a seasonal low, apparent seasonal low of 450. All right, so that 
Again, let's see how many of that represents. Let's look at Stillicum, closed sales. And Stillicum for that, that low muck. Oh, yeah, look at the computer. Making this computer sweat. Okay, there we are. So, uh, Stillicum, we had uh, only nine during that slow month, it looks like. October, that was the weird month, October. Okay, so let's look back here. That was December. Closed sales. Was that December? Yeah. Closed sales, Stillicum, nine, yep. Yeah. The seasonal low of sales is three. That was the month where it had the spike. Okay. So anyway, uh, everything is on an upward trend. Everything. And everything is on a seasonal cycle. So right now, that makes it the perfect time to buy if you're going to buy real estate in the next six to 12 months. Now is the best time to do it because right now is the best time you're going to have in the seasonal cycle to get a good price. Uh, if you need to sell, we are bouncing out of that seasonal low right now. And right now is the time to coordinate, to list your home, get it on the market, to sell it to the widest possible audience of buyers so you can get the highest possible price in the coming 90 days. The coming 90 days are going, we're going to see the prices go up and go up rather quickly. So now is the time to prepare. Uh, if you need to sell or you need to buy, shoot me a text, 253-213-0091, and we will get the process started. Dave Gallons, Keller Williams, Lake Taps, and 72 sold. Have a good one.